Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today video, I will explain how to create a floor from a uh, topo uh, surface uh, a poly curve. Uh, let's see how it works. Uh, here I have in my uh, Revit file this uh, topo surface. Sometimes we uh, we don't we uh, we want to create something in uh, in Revit by using Dynamo uh, as uh, a tool that can help us extract some data from Revit. But uh, uh, sometimes we need to be aware about the data type that we are trying to manipulate. Like here, for example, I have this topo surface. If I go here, I know that is a topo uh, surface category or a, a topo in a Revit uh, category. But sometimes uh, we, uh, we don't know exactly what the data type. Let's see how it works. If I go here to manage and I uh, open Dynamo, and uh, by the way, this is the uh, in my channel the first time I uh, I use Dynamo, but uh, in a future you uh, future videos I will uh, uh, give some tutorial about uh, how Dynamo work and how you can use Dynamo very efficiently. Let's open a new uh, file here in Dynamo and take this uh, topo surface here to uh, analyze what is uh, exactly the data type and extract the boundary to create uh, a rivet floor. I will go here in a rivet section and in a rivet section I will go here in uh, selection and in selection I will go select uh, uh, element here we have two select a model element and select a model element okay that bring all the elements and that bring the model element let's start by select a model element and clicking on here now I have this uh, element ID if I go for example to uh, extract the uh, geometry I will go here in uh, uh, a Revit section under element and under this redundant element and I have element geometry. I will plug this node in this here. Now I got here, let's uh, make it bigger here and let's uh, do some uh, vis vi uh, uh, zoom here. Now what I get, I get this element geometry and if I check here, I have this poly curve here and I have this mesh here and that poly curve, this is the, the, the curve that uh, uh, here we talking about this poly curve, but let's uh, uh, go more uh, uh, deeper than that. I will go here searching for get uh, item at index here and now I will plug this uh, let's uh, pin that here like that like that we can have more uh, view about uh, the element that we are working on let's see here I will uh, check here what is the uh, what is the poly curve that I want from it uh, the uh, the floor create from uh, from it the floor. Let's see. And here also I, I I just for curiosity let you know that the topo surface geometry is a mesh data type. Okay, it's not a solid data type. And I will plug here this list. Then I will go uh, uh, just. Uh, double click and uh, uh, searching for this poly curve here and you can guess what is it now if I plug it here now I extract that poly curve let's hide uh, the preview of the geometry here now we got that poly curve now from from that poly curve we can create a floor how we do that we go here to uh, to a rivet section and we go to element under element we have a node that creates a, a floor here now we go there is another way of creating floor but let's go with this one by outline tip and the level now we have that uh, a node and 
floor type and a level let's go for example in selection uh, um, section here and now we can have this family type or a floor type we can check this one and go searching for the the type of floor that we want let's go with the standard here and for a level i have a node here for a level and we check which on which level we want to create that floor here let's see a level uh, zero and then we have our here a boundary this one that we extract from the uh, the geometry uh, here now we plug that let's make it here just manual and put it a rivet and uh, put a dynamo and rivet in uh, a two uh, uh, to separate uh, windows like that here and just make a little zoom here and now i will uh, plug my item list here in outline and then the floor type here and then the level and then i create i click on run to create the floor and you see here if we go to rivet and just hide that element isolate that element now we have the floor created based on the uh, poly curve we extract from uh, a topo surface i hope this video help you to uh, uh, solve that issue if you encounter it in your daily work to increase your productivity don't forget to subscribe to a five minute channel and uh, get the latest uh, tips in revit five in five minutes revit thank you and have a nice day